All right. Now, this is a weirder place for me to leave myself between days. I'm just hanging out in the cathedral right before midnight. Meters are doing okay, could use sleep. Which is good, because it's about time for me to sleep anyway. Especially since apparently my sister talks to me in my dreams, so if I want to do that quest every day, I gotta sleep anyway. Nothing else is a big deal meter-wise. Not sure what to do, actually. What should I do right now? Hmm. I think I gotta book it all the way back home, basically. The area is not infected. I think I, I gotta book it all the way back home and sleep, then come all the way back to rest. Because I, I probably have... Uh, I'll go see the show, then walk all the way back here, probably. Because I probably have to go to Aglaia. We're probably gonna get missions from the Inquisitor, because that's what tends to happen at this point in the story. So I guess I'll just meander my way back home. And I'll loot whatever I find. And we're definitely jump cutting here. But yeah, just gotta wander on back, go to sleep, then wander all the way back here, probably. Ooh. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mind performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Never mind. I didn't think enough about how fast time passes. So, 12 minutes would pass in approximately one minute. So yeah, it did make the most sense just to hang out and wait a moment. Because I might get an immediate quest. I don't know. The Bachelor's quest and the Higher Specs quest often require it to be 7 o'clock, but the Changeling's quest seemed to start at midnight, which is weird. Have you met a courier on the way? You showed up. Well done. Today's mission is going to be dangerous, my dear. More dangerous than yesterday's one, at any rate. What will you task me with today? You've mesmerized people before, with quite some success. This really speaks in support of your being... exceptional. Today you're going to test your powers on a monster. You will meet Oyun, the foreman of the abattoir. Already? Is he not human? An equal blend of human and beast. As I understood from the esteemed Boso Gimski's account, his father had been beg begotten on a step woman by a bull. Be his father had been begotten on a step woman by a bull. What is that phrasing? Oh, so his grandmother had sex with a bull, and then his father was born from that. I was like, begotten. I'm like, I gotta deconstruct this for a second here. He is thus a chimera, a vivid epitome of this town. If the town were to get a coat of arms, the foreman should be on it. My god. Find out whether he is guilty. We're still doing that? We're just asking who's guilty every day? Alright. Also, try to assess how much of a threat he is. A threat to what? To whom, rather? To the one who will have a lot of dealings with him. To sum up, I will need a psychological portrait of this... being. Gain his trust and learn as much as you can. Aren't you afraid I could deceive you? I'm not. I would learn a great deal more of what I need to know from your deceit than from your honesty with a few added touches to your own portrait. By the way, let me tell you a little secret about yourself. The first key to unraveling your mystery. You are entirely incapable of deceit. Does that mean I'm a mistress? The only one around who could be described as a mistress is, at the present moment, me. Really? Is he- is she just defying the terminology we're using here, or what? How am I to get inside the abattoir? These passages open and close at random, as if controlled by a kind of paranormal sphincter. It looks like a hole, but no human can get through. 
The mental barrier is impassable even to me. The mental barrier? The abattoir has a mental barrier? This has never brought up, been brought up before. I thought it was just a door. So what am I supposed to do? Find a girl at the termitary who goes by the name of Mother Superior. Come up with something to make her let you pass. I suppose you'd handle a small child without any difficulty. However, I wouldn't advise you to try your spells on her. She's step-born, and a special kind of step-born. Not a good idea. I'll think of something. We weren't given too much time now, were we? Who's standing before me this time? I should be able to tell you apart by tiny details. Oh, she's saying she can tell the two copies of the Changeling apart. I've cleansed the Spleen District. Are you convinced now? Maybe. Maybe. But you think that if not for you, the District would still be infected But na uh, now? Doubtlessly. And how did you do it? With a miracle, you would understand. Then how can I verify the truth of your words? It's easy to claim credit for a work that does itself. I once knew a man who'd convinced an entire village that the sun would have stopped rising in the east but for his heroic effort. Incidentally, he too was considered a saint. You understood everything long ago. I can see it in your eyes. So why are you afraid of admitting I'm right? You're a clever little girl. I'll give you that. Well then, carry on with your work, collect the reward you've been promised, and make sure you remember our deal. I do remember it. That coin sound was slightly startling. <laughs> Uh, we're up to, so it's past minute. 42 grand! Damn, that added up at some point. But I don't have no sleeping drugs. I don't have my sleeping drugs. I also don't know if I can sleep in this town, necessarily. There are so many. She has no further quests for me at the moment. She acts as if she were conducting a chemical experiment. First, she has tested whether I mix well with people. Now she's curious if I mix well with the town itself. Aglaia seems to think the town is formed by three major substances. And I am going to start with the one on the very bottom. The road to the abattoir has to pass through the termitary. So here we go. We're at the part of the story where we're now going to... Oh. Hi. We now have the specter of the, t the tower in the distance. Ookley. And, the, and now the city's there, which wasn't there before. But not the bull. We don't have a bull. Some of the outlines are there, but we don't- we do not currently have a bull under the city. We just have the stars, the shadow. The different versions are interesting. And then that, yeah. This entire island's completely clean. Oh, and of course my home is what's infected now. Great! Great! But hey, uh, my two gathering spots I visit a lot are completely clean too, so that's nice. That's nice of them to do for me. I should check this one, too. This would be a good marathon song. Not for a literal marathon, but... Long Walks. The way it just kind of has a strong tempo and drum set. A drum set? <laughs> That would refer to the literal drums, not the sound they make. Uh, with the occasional minimalist audio. It'd be interesting to walk with. Less so the part where it just does the, the background sound without the drums being in. I don't know what to call every sound. Should I try talking to you? You have a tendency to pop up in the story lately, and I'm right here. Might save me a trip. Yes. Nope. Here speaks a mistress to a mistress, and yet I wonder if you have the strength to speak to me candidly and without prejudice. Don't joke like that, Maria. That was a strange exchange. Alright. Maria does not currently have a quest for me. And all I have is the one, the one from the... Inquisitor. So we're just gonna go straight to the, uh... 
the, the uh, I almost said the cathedral. We're gonna go straight to the theater, see the morning show, then try to get home to sleep. I'm not entirely sure which beds work and which ones don't, but I have had the habit of keeping the sleeping drugs next to my bed as storage because of how crowded the inventory can, <clears throat> the in inventory can get. So, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I want to have the full effect of sleeping, I need to go to the bed that happens to have my drugs at them. Because that's, that, uh, when I'm looting and everything, that inventory fills right up. There's so many types of pills and drinking, and there's like the, the three different variations of, of sleeping drug. Then you have the fact that the, the while the bandages and the tourniquets stack individually, the uh, if you get a bunch of uh, I don't have any kerosene to sell, do I? You value this stuff? I could sell this off if I wanted to. It's only worth a hundred, though. I'll throw it into my chest and figure out. Maybe one day I'll have to use for it or something, but I kind of doubt it. The game, it'd be a dick move for the game to expect me to get a bunch of it because my ways of getting it, that that whole that whole machine doesn't really exist for the changeling as much as it did for the for the Harrow specs. Those things were just coming in and out of her inventory, con his inventory constantly. Where for her, they're a rare occurrence because. Yes, the Harris books could gather them, but actually, the best way to get them was still to uh, trade for them with the actual gatherers. Over time, I became convinced that maybe they don't even respawn, because there was area, there was entire fields where I found like a, one or two plants in the entire campaign, and never again. So I was getting convinced that maybe the plants don't even respawn over the course of the uh, game. Like all these, there's all these locations where you can keep going back to get more stuff, and that never really established itself with the Harris specs. It was all about instead just going for the places where I could find organs and trading those. I know how celestial bodies work. I know the logic of numbers. Yes, mom. Solid bodies drown in water. It's a law. Life breaks into particles and is reborn again. It is a law. Do you see now how many mysteries the Earth holds? The more terrifying the mystery, the deeper it lies. And the fewer wells can reach them. You can trick anyone. Anyone but me. The emissary of the powers that be. I know how this world had been built. I know how its life works. I know the laws it operates under. It's supposed to be very simple and proportional. True, true, ma'am. That's what it's supposed to be. True, true, ma'am. That is what it's supposed to be. So let it be. It's not the end of the world. It's just an epidemic. It's gone out of proportion. The law will prevail. I'll restore the balance. Not all is lost. I know where the root of this evil lies. Hmm. so odd. That might be the most memorable monologue or the most memorable theater scene of the entire game just because it's like every time I, they, like I, I recognize it each time as being one that I'm definitely familiar with where some of the times I go to the theater I'm like is this new because they, they just don't stick but I, I think they are the same one every day across all three campaigns but that one is really specifically memorable but it's also so strange because Aglaia's vocal performance is so odd and its flatness and its monotone. It almost seems like bad voice acting, which 
would be fitting potentially because Clara's voice acting seems pretty not good either, especially in the intro when you're picking your character. But it could be an intentional thing where she's so disconnected and uninterested in the world around her because she knows that none of it's real, so she's not actually invested and instead is just playing her part as a marionette. No. Bad. 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 No good. No, oh god. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. You you did this. Yeah. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe he won't attack. He attacked. They just don't attack sometimes. It's weird. I've seen them just walk right past me. It might be because of nighttime. It might be... It might be that that nighttime... I haven't really thought about it before, so I haven't been testing this in my head until just now when I had the thought. Because there's those times where we encounter enemies way out in the middle of the boonies and everything, and those people seem to be not being able to see me. In which case, I assume it must be a stealth thing, right? I still have a lot of these left, huh? Like, in those situations, I think that is like a stealth situation where they can't see me because it's nighttime. So if that's the case, then maybe... The rats that seem docile actually aren't docile at all, and are just not noticing me in the darkness sometimes. Sure be nice if they didn't detect me when I want them to not detect me. I'm just gonna- I'm just throwing the plants in there for now, I guess. Why not? Alright. Now we're starting the day proper for my bed and everything. Uh, drugs, click, 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 click. Four hours. I've had my system down for a while now. It's always four hours, three. Not morphines. The thing that's like morphine, but not, you know. Then we eat some shit. Click, click. 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 Well, that meter took a little bit to burn down. Got a decent number of different peanuts and stuff, though. I always gotta make sure I don't mix them up, though, because this one's coffee. But it from that perspective, it looks like nuts. Which there's three of in there. Immunity's normal, hunger's down, infections, blah. Health's fine. Cool. There she is. Again. I can see now that she is precisely who she pretends to be. I definitely need to find her. The infected district is the place to search. For where else might she hide herself? If someone- oh. This is the normal- right, this isn't where the dialogue shows up, it shows up in letters. My bad. Alexander's waiting, yeah. It's day seven, day eight. Yeah, we've read that before. I saw her in a dream once again, and although she was covering her face with her hands, I saw that her lips were oozing blood. I saw blood trickling from beneath her eyelids and glittering in the cracks of her desiccated palms. I heard her mumble through her fingers, this is not the crowd that seeks me now, not these mindless, fervent people I came to love so much, not them. But two demons, two destroyers, armed to the teeth and devoid of human compassion. They hate me, even though... Even more than they loathe each other. They want nothing more than my death. They will capture me. Make me an object of trade. They will pay generously in silver and blood to learn where I am and tear me limb from limb. The names of the demons are Artemy, spewed by the heat of the earth and Daniel, begotten by the cold celestial flame. From my window I saw each one of them bring a butcher down within the flaming Suwak ring. They are fighting each other now, but neither will win the fight. From my window... in the flaming Suwak ring... A, it's a combat arena? You're over here, aren't you? The weird back alley, like, circle that's back there? She's in one of these houses, it looks like. It feels like this outline is, like, not aligned correctly for the houses or something. Like, it's the shape of these houses, but it's, like, offset to the left. So that it covers the street, but weirdly doesn't cover these houses correctly, visually. I don't know. Hmm. So she's in one of those three houses, most likely. There's no other ring, really, is there? A circle is an unusual visual for this entire map. There's one back here, but that's where we just went last time. 
in fact, and also that it's, she's in the. We do have the additional rule that she's supposed to be in an infected district, of which there are three right now. Okay. So I can find her. I should probably focus on the main quest first because that got out of hand last time. I was falling behind and it was spooky. What? You're bothering me. I want to be alone. Bothering you? That's odd. Okay. So main thing is I want to go talk to Mother Superior. It's 7 a.m. I've done to the theater already. You're good to go then. If I take the north path, I'll leave the the fire faster. The fire? What? Uh, the infected district faster. If there's not... Eh. I think I can get past that. There we go. Uh, there's so much fence in the way, so I'm going to want to go this way. And since we're in this district, the only direct threat is normally the... Uh, criminals everywhere. Speaking of which, I've got the bullets I need to make some resources happen in this region. I'm gonna be good though. I'm gonna make sure I finish today's quest before I do any... anything more than checking trash cans because that stuff destroyed me yesterday. It was so tense. Day 8, in which the changing traces it all back to the source and realizes the town desperately needs a true mistress. Wow, that guy's in trouble. Click. Oh, I was pulling the hands out to get a little swipe, and I was like, maybe I can still get the killing blow. Okay. Y'all are just having a bad day, huh? Oh, boy. There we go. I'm like, just don't throw whatever you don't throw at this range. I'd be in deep shit. Oh, hey. For some reason, the guy he killed still had stuff on him, even though he already did the whole animation for looting him. Weird. I guess he just wasn't thirsty. <laughs> Have I been in here yet? The difficulty of having three campaigns that take place in the same area is that I'm having trouble remembering... Have I been inside the termitary before? Uh, the big termitary, I should say. The east wing. I, I did visit the- I, I met with Artemy in the west side. This is the wrong floor, isn't it? Whoops. I'm supposed to go up to the third floor? I met with Artemy in the small one. The one that's just a stairwell. The one that seemed to be giving me unfair amounts of infection that one time. I, I was convinced that this game had non-mandatory infection, like it was always avoidable and dodgeable if you really pull it off somehow. But then they did that, where when I got there, they, uh, they was just blocking the stairwell. I'm like, well, that's the only way up, so, you know. Where is the horror specs? This is to inform you that the conflict between Artemy Baruch and Bachelor Denkovsky has escalated out of proportion. It is as though they have made a decision to challenge each other. The situation is fraught with negative consequences. Blood will be spilled. The Bachelor knows no remorse. He's preparing for an offensive maneuver somewhere in the Backbone District. The Haraspex is working somewhere in the Skinner's District right now. As far as I can see from the latest reports, he is likely to be found in one of the double houses. You must reach him in time to warn him. So that he's able to relocate at once. I will reward you handsomely for that. The lockdown districts are dangerous. There are robbers and looters on the loose. However, I'm confident that no bandit survived in the house Burak has chosen. Besides, there is a cohort of the kin people at his side now. The bachelor has his own posse, however, so you must hurry. Somewhere in the Skinner's district in one of the double houses. The Skinner's District. Am I gonna have to whip out my tabletop game, which conveniently has all of the districts labeled? <laughs> uh, Skinner's District. I think the Skinner's District is... Is it this north area? The one that goes infected first at the beginning of the game? 
You also said double houses, which kind of exists around there. It might be these areas. Are those double houses? Do you live in the Skinner's District? Ah. Uh, there are so many districts in this game. Once you see the map, like the one from the tabletop games or one of the ones that, that fans have made or whatever, there's so many districts, which is made obvious by the number of red and black spots, that it's a real trip to figure out how to keep them all straight. There are robbers and looters in the loose. Okay. I might be right about that being the Skinner's District. Because it sounds like it's that Artemis in a in one of the gray zones, which narrows it down to three locations. This one does seem, this has this has double houses though. I think it, I think this might be the Skinner's district because it's next to the abattoir, and the abattoir is where they process the cow carcasses. So the Skinner's district being right there would make a lot of sense. We'll have to see. I've got my own primary task right now, so let's talk to you first. You come to this place often. I can't say I'm glad to see you. Why not? You bring us nothing but misfortune. I thought the opposite. Have I ever been here before? Where did everyone go? What's the news in the outer town? Bad, Taya. Taya, let me into the abattoir. Let your butchers take me inside. I will if you tell me a nice fairy tale. I must warn you, though, I'm picky. Why so? I know all fairy tales. I've heard them all so many times over. Boring. Since I've left the tower, only Sticky has managed to amuse me in that that one time. How? Did he make up a fairy tale? Who makes up fairy tales? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Fairy tales are never made up. Made up fairy tales are just fiction. You can spot them at once. Sticky's been the last to bring me as a skilled storyteller. That was just before the plague. We were boarded up later last night. Let me see what I, we can come up with here. Huh? How peculiar the gatekeeper, the guards, the passage of the abattoir. The way... Uh, the way of getting past is same as ever. What kind of a fairy tale should I humor her with? Which would she like the most? I don't have any hooks to unpick her yet. A boy named Sticky can help me with this. Odd. Okay. I mean... It works. Today's packing... Today's looking to be more efficient. Because she, she's right here. Sticky's like... A, around the corner in the neighboring district which I think is the Skinner's district I'm not even normally confident about the names of any of the districts but that's like one of the only ones I might know because I, th I think the Skinner's district is specifically the first one that gets infected every playthrough which makes it easier to remember later on name wise where I don't have many of the other ones named so I think that I think I'm right and if I am right that means that the the change uh, the higher specs is also there so I've got two characters to look for here. Sticky's probably just in his house. Oh boy. She said something important that's gonna help me. First of all, they're supposed to be in double houses. Second of all, uh... Apparently, it would make sense because he's the Harris Specs. Apparently, the the threat doesn't exist in the, in, in the location he's in. 